Hello, welcome. Let's provide answer to this question under the volumes of a cone. So a sector of an angle 65 degrees is removed from a thin circular sheet of radius 15 centimeters. So, and folded to form a right circular cone. We have to calculate the volume of the cone. So, beginning from the bottom, volume of a cone. What do we need to find the volume of a cone? Per recall from our previous episode, we know that the volume of a cone is equal to one third times the base area. The cone will have a base area of a circle. So, the base area times the height. So, when we know the radius of the, the cone, the, the radius of the base of the cone times the height of the cone, the volume will be found. So let's go into the question and see if we can see any of this. So we know an angle of the sector which is not off the cone is given. And uh, we also have the radius of that sector is also given. Then as the only two dimensions that have been given. So it will be difficult to find the volume without knowing the radius of the base. So let's begin with the sector, the condition given unto us. You know, a sector is just a region bound by two radius, that is a red eye, and an arc. If this is the center, this is B, this is C. This angle is an acute angle, so it will be at the center here, at 65 degrees. So it is this sector that is being removed and carved into uh, a cone. Alright, now the radius of the sector is given as 15 centimeters. So this is being removed and being developed. Let me put it here into a cone, which will have a height and a radius. Don't forget, this is the slant height, and this is the height itself of the cone, right angle, and this is going to be the radius. All right, so in this, we need a height from here. We also need a radius. But if we take this sector, you know, this is the sector we have. If this sector is removed with the angle being 60, if it is folded with the radius coming together, if the radius comes together, it gives us a cone. But this is a hollow cone, whereby the radius is forming the slant height. So this slant height we are seeing here is nothing but the radius, which is going to be the 15 centimeter. So this 15 centimeter, we also need a radius before we can find the height, or we need a height before we can find the radius. If we check from here, this is going to be the length of the arc. The length of this arc which is the one we are seeing here, if folded to form a cone, become the circumference, you see? It becomes the circumference of the circle that could have been here to make it a solid cone. So this is going to be the circular part. So simply put, the length of the arc of arc AB or AOB is going to be equal to the circumference equals to the circumference of the base of the cone. So if that's the case, we can be able to say that the, the circumference of the base, which is the circle, will be 2 pi r equals to the length of an arc is always theta divided by 360 times pi. No, that would be 2 pi r. But we are using a capital R here to mean that this is the bigger diagram that has been folded to give us the, the smaller radius of the cone. Don't forget, this circle is going to be bigger, having a longer radius than the radius that we form here. All right. And we can see 2 pi is common at both sides, so we divide by 2 pi. So that will give us r equals to theta divided by 
360 times r where in this case this r is known as 15 the theta is also known as what 65 so our radius of the base will be 65 divided by 360 times what 15 centimeter and if we do that on our calculator that will give us our radius to be equals to 2.708 centimeter. We can make it to be two decimal places as 2.71. So that is the radius. This length, that is the radius. Don't forget, we also need the height. Looking at this, see this is a, a right circular cone. It means the, the, the height is going to be perpendicular to the radius making that triangle to be a right angle triangle so we can apply the uh, principles of pythagoras theorem to get the value of this very height so from here we are going to say that so using pythagoras theorem we are going to look at the longest side which is the 15 so 15 square equals to the square of the h plus the square of the r where in this case, the R is also known as 2.708. So we are going to subtract the R square from the 15. So 15 square, we know is going to be 225 minus 2.708 R square equals to H square. So let's see what that will be on our calculator. So we are going to have 225 minus this square will be 7.332 equals to h square. Let's perform the subtraction from there and see what we are going to have. That will give us 217.668 equals to h square. But don't forget we are looking for h. So we find the square root of both sides, the root of 217.668, it makes the age to be equal to, that would be 14.754 centimeters. So here, we know the radius, we know the height. So right away, our volume is going to be one third pi r squared h one third let's use 22 by 7 as the value of pi we can use 3.71 3.142 as well as 22 over 7 then our radius is going to be 2.708 all square times here we have our 14.754 when we compute that so this calculation will all give us 113.347. Since we are having centimeter square here times centimeter, it gives us centimeter cube. So the volume of the cone form from the sector of a radius 15 centimeter will be 113.347 centimeter cube. I guess the concept built into this question is understood by you. Don't forget to share this video with somebody who might actually need this tutorial. Comment and subscribe if you are new. Bye-bye.